Hey everyone, Ewok Hugs here, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a GUI calculator using C++. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm using Qt Creator. I strongly recommend you guys download it. It's a cross-platform C++ compiler, and it just works really nice. And also, um, if you don't have it and you're trying to follow along, these tutorials probably won't make much sense because Qt uses a kind of hybrid C++ language, if that makes any sense. And um, so I'll put the download link in the description and let's go from here. So let's create a new GUI application and we'll name it calc. Continue, continue, done. Okay. So I just went through all that. And as you can see here, we have the main window.h, the main.cpp, main window.cpp and then we have our main window.ui we are not going to use this .ui it's basically like a storyboard it just lets you build the app or the yeah the application in using buttons and stuff and i don't really like doing that i prefer to hard code everything simply for just a preference i guess well there's a few reasons but mostly a preference Okay, well with that being said, the first thing we're going to do is delete this UI colon colon main window asterisk UI, and we're going to go to main window, and we're going to delete this line of code, and we're going to delete this comma, we're going to delete this line, and we're going to delete this line. Okay, so if we go ahead and run our application, our calculator, um, It'll come up as just a blank window right in the center, which is good. Uh, we have a window, hooray. So the first thing we're going to want to do is... Uh, is we're going to want to adjust this window size to appropriately make a calculator. The appropriate size of a calculator. So we're going to hit window.show maximize. This allows us to customize the size of our calculator. And then we're going to hit window dot, um, set maximum size. Uh, no. We're going to want to say window.set fixed size. And we're going to say 300 by 400. So if we go ahead and run this now. You can see we have a lovely 300 by 400 window. Uh, now the problem is, is it comes up in the left hand side, and we want it to come up right in the center, and so let's take care of that right now. Uh, we will include um, Q desktop widget, and then what we'll do is we'll say w.move because we're going to move it and we'll move it to q uh, we're going to move q application desktop point that to screen point that to rect dot center and then we're going to minus um, w dot rect dot center Okay, so what this line of code does is it's saying move this window, main window we named W, so W.move, uh, the Q application, it's, this desktop gets the size of the desktop screen, like locates all the points on the screen, and then it's creating a rectangle, it's not creating one, but it's, for the sake of explanation, it's creating a rectangle around the screen, and then it's going to the center of that rectangle. And then it's minusing the w dot. It's minusing the center of our window. So without this minus, it would appear somewhere down over here because it's going to be going from the left corner. And I don't know what I explained probably doesn't make much sense. But you, without that line of code, it wouldn't appear directly in the center. So if we go ahead and run it again, oop, we got a colon or semicolon. Alright, hooray, it's in the center. Okay, so now we have our basic window. Um, the next thing we're going to do is start declaring uh, 
our methods and different variables. Um, let's go ahead and include QTGUI, and we're going to want Q push button, and we're going to want to include QTGUI new label. Okay, so we're going to be using push buttons and labels, and we need to grab those from the library. Okay, so let's go ahead and create private slots. Um, what slots are in this sense is it's basically just declaring all the methods. Not declaring them, but basically creating a list of all the methods we're going to use in our calculator. So one would be void clear void add and so on and so forth okay so now we've kind of made a list of all of our different methods that we're going to use and that's a good thing because we're going to imp implement them into the main window.cpp. Okay, so let's go back to our .h. Um, and we will go ahead and start um, initializing, or not initializing, but um, declaring our different objects. So q label, label. push button So now we have um, declared all of our different buttons that we're going to be using in our calculator. Um, so that's all for today, and next time we will get started on actually initializing and putting to use our different buttons and our label, and we'll start to get this calculator going off the ground. Um, hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, and see you guys next time.